Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where I thought today I might take a look at one of these um, greater than killer sudokus published on dailykillersudoku.com. Um, I might be biting off more than I can chew here, because this is rated 10 out of 10, and I don't want the video to be sort of five hours long, but anyway, we'll, we'll see how we go. Now, just a quick word of warning, these puzzles are very hard, um, so if you're new to killer sudoku, then you might want to check out some of the other videos on the channel first and it talks through some of the basic concepts because um, these pull no punches. So anyway, what can I see straight away? I can see we can fill in ones and threes uh, into these four cages. Um, right. This cage here, uh, it can, the top row will add to 45, all the rows and columns will add to 45 because they'll contain the numbers from 1 to 9. Uh, add up the numbers 1 to 9, you get the number 45. So 4 plus 11 plus 13 is 28. So this cage here adds up to 17. Uh, hmm, let's just. There's a couple of things I'm noticing here. Uh, one of them is this 23 cage which is greater than this 4 cage here, which in turn is greater than this 21 cage. Now, that means that this cage, I think, has to add up to 22, because it's the, that's the only logical consequence of it lying between the 21 cage and 23 cage. So if this is 22 and this is 16, that adds up to 38. So this square and this square must add up to 7 in order to ensure that column 3 adds up to 45. And therefore, I'm tempted to write down the options for this square here. Uh, obviously, 1 and 3 aren't possible. So this could be 2, 4, 5, or 6, which means this could be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think. Not, not terribly helpful, but might, might be useful later on. Um, we can work out the value of this cage. We know that the top or well, the first two columns of the grid must add up to 90 because they'll contain the numbers 45 uh, twice, basically. So 4, 23, 34, 44, 57, 58. So um, this is 78. So this must be 12. This, this must be a 12 cage in order to ensure that the columns work. Um, and again, that doesn't look terribly helpful, does it? Uh, but maybe we can combine it with this. We've got a 12 cage here and a 21 cage in the bottom row of the grid. So that's 33. So this cage and this cage have to sum up to 12. Now there's only a couple of ways of making 12 in four cells. So there's 1, 2, 3 and 6 and 1, 2, 4 and 5. So that might end up being useful. Um, in fact, I'm tempted now. I can see this. There's another load of relationships going on down in the last two columns of the grid here. So let's just pick a value. The maximum, if we know that this is going to contain those numbers I just mentioned, the maximum value this, this two cage could take would be 9. And that could either be 3 and 6 or 4 and 5. This cannot be bigger than 9. So let's just see what 9 does to these, um, these cages here, which have to be equal to one another. So 9 plus 14 is 23, 33, 51, 64. So these two cells would have to share 26. They'd have to be 13 each. Ah, OK, but they have to be less than 14. So in fact they have to be 13 each, because if this total was any lower than 9, we'd need to put higher numbers into these cages in order to make sure that the two columns added to 90. So these two cages here do add to 13 each, and this adds to 9. Now if this adds to 9, and together with this, these add to 12, this cage here must contain the numbers 1 and 2. Um, so let's put that in. It's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2. So this has got to be 5 or 6 at the top there. And this is either 3, 6 or 4, 5. We might just try and remember that. 
And just to take a look at this column as well, we've got 20 plus 12, 32. So this cell and this cell have to sum to 13. Mm, can't see really how to make use of that. This 9 cage is quite restricted by this 1, 3. Um, obviously this has to be 2, 4, either has to be 2, 7 or 4 and 5. Just wondering if... Let's just imagine this was a 5. If this is a 5, we know these two have to add to 12 then because um, this cage adds up to 17 altogether. Now 12, when we can't use a 5 and we can't use a 3, could only be a 4 and an 8. Um, that would make this 2 and 7. Make this... Well, now this would have to be 6 and 7, and this would have to be 2 and 9, but that's... That's not going to work. Let me show you why. Because if this is 4 and 8, this has to be 2 and 7 here. So this has to be a 2 and 9, this 11. That's the only possibility left. But that would have to be this way round. Now once that's the case, we can't make this column work anymore. Because this is going to be 2 plus 20, that's 22, plus 12, that's 34. So this cage, this cell in fact, would have to add up to 11, which it can't do. So this cannot be a 5. Um, this must be a 6. Therefore, this is a 1 and this is a 2. Maybe that will help us. Um, or maybe not. Let's just now take another look at this. So this has got to contain an 11. And this is, yes, this is going to help. Because this is going to contain 11 here and this is 11 here. Now, the only ways of making 11 that are left and are valid are going to be 2, 9, and 4, 7, because 5, 6 is taken up by this 6, 3, 8 is taken up by this 3. So this combination here has to be 2, 9, and 4, 7, which makes this 13 cage forced to be 5 and 8. We know this can't be a 2 from the work we did earlier, so let's remove that possibility. Um, right. Now, can we go further than that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Because this 9 cage, we said, had to be either 2, 7 or 4, 5. So let's look around here. This is a quin, uh, quintuplet, is that a word? So the, these five cells have to be some combination of 2, 4, 5, 7 and 9. Five unknowns, five cells. So these two cells have to be 6 and 8. They haven't got a place to home yet. So this 13 cage must be 5, 7. And we need to put a 9 in this 3x3 three three block and it can now only go in one of these two cells. So if 9 is in one of these two cells and we know that these two cells sum to 11, it must be a 2, 9 combination. Which means we can remove the 2, 7 combination from this 9 cage. Which means we can remove the 4 from and the 2 from this cage. So this is a 7 and this must be a 4. That's going to be helpful because now this must be a 9 in order to ensure that column 7 adds to 45. Um, 6, 2, 9. Right, okay, so now what can we do? Yes, we can go further now. We have to again use arithmetic. Let's look at this top 3x3 three three block because we have 13 here plus 4 is 17 plus 18 is 35 so these two cells sum to 10 but if these two cells sum to 10 these two cells sum to 10 because it's part of a 20 cage but there are now this is a lovely puzzle there are only two ways left for making 10 in column 7 because 4 and 6 is used up and 1 and 9 is used up so now in fact we know this must be 2 and 8 and 3 and 7 in some order. But this cannot be the eight, 2 and 8 variation because we already have an 8 in this 3x3 three three block already with this 5-8 combination. So this is not 2 and 8, which means this is 2 and 8, which means this must be 1, 5 and 6. Uh, and if 
fact, we have a 1 and a 3 here, so this must be the 3, and this is the 7. So 7 down here somewhere. Um, oh, okay, yes. Uh, yes, we can go further. Look, we know that this is either 4, 5, or 3, 6, this cage, because we know that combined with this cage it adds up to 12. So this is 3, 6, or 4, 5. So we cannot have these two numbers being 5 and 6, because if they're 5 and 6, we cannot fill this cage at all. Therefore, one of these numbers must be a 1. Therefore, this number is not 1. Um, so, I'm just going to do a little bit of arithmetic on this block now, because we've got 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 14 is 32. So I need these three cells to add up to 13. And I know that there is a 1 in this total. So you can immediately see if this if this is 1 and 6, that's not going to work because then this cell would also have to be a 6. So in fact, this is 1 and 5. Let's put that in. Which means this is a 7. Which means this is 3, 6. Um, sorry if I'm going a bit slowly here. This is not easy. Uh, Okay, well, yes, now we know this cage adds to 13, as does this one. So now, as this has a 7 in it, these two cells sum to 6 without using a 2, because we already have a 2 here. So this must be 1 and 5. That means this 10 cage can only be 3 and 7 now. It's the only way of making 10 left that's valid in this 3 by 3 block, uh, which means that's 4 and 9. That looks like it's working now. This is 3, 7 means this must be a 3. Uh, hmm, this must be 2, 4, and 8. Let's just put that in. I can't immediately see how to make use of it, but we should still record it just in case. Um, I feel like I'm missing something obvious now. Uh, what numbers do we need in here? We need a 1, a 2, 6, and a 9. We can remove these 1s and we can remove these 6s. So let's just do that for the sake of good order. And we can remove these 9s actually because of this 4 9 combination. So in fact, the 9s have to be over here. Uh, and in fact, the 6 has to be here. That's the only place a 6 can go. Let's put that in. This can't be a 6 because of this 6. Uh, okay, so this is a 6. 8, 8, 8, 8. Right. Now, where now? <laughs> well, this 13 cage is a little bit interesting, especially as this 2 cage. Look, with this 2, we can. That can't be a 2, that's going to have to be a 9, and this is going to have to be the 2. Now, if we look, we've got two 13 cages in column 4, and we've already used up a 9. So the other, only other ways of making 13 that are valid are going to be 6, 7, and 5, 8. So we know that this one is going to be whatever this one isn't, which means that these two numbers have to be 1, 3, and 4 in some order because we know that this is going to be either 6, 7, or 5, 8. Um, I can't tell at the moment which, I don't think. Uh, we know this is going to be 12, and this is going to be 12. Can't see how to resolve that. Um, 7, 6. Oh, I feel like I'm being slow again here. Come on, Simon. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's look here. This is 21, this is 12, that's 33, 34. These two add to 11, and this whole cage adds 22. So this is 11, and this is 11. And we've already got the 6 in the column. So there are three ways left of making 11, and they all must be catered for in this column somehow. We know this will be one of them this will be another, and therefore the third will be contained within the 16 cage. 
Therefore, this 16 cage must contain a 5 as well. Um, let's put that in and see if it helps. Probably not. 